And maybe this is a good time to mention, as you open up to energy work, you will occasionally be aware of energies that you don't like. And I mentioned earlier, like people will say things like, oh, there's people that are energy vampires and they suck energy out of you. And that's certainly a legitimate way to look at the world. And what, what are the downsides of that kind of way of thinking, that there are energy vampires? Nothing you can do about it. Nothing you can do about it. Like, you know, vampires have more power than we have. <coughs> and, okay. Oh, were you saying? I said it, it's externalizing. Yeah. It's, it's, again, putting it, you know, poor me. It's another way of being a victim. And you are the king or queen of your energy field. Again, nobody has more power over it than you do. And when you come across things that you don't like, and you will occasionally come across energies that you really won't like them, if you go, oh, they're this, or they're bad, or they're evil, or they're negative, what you do is you end up resisting them and giving them power. If you just go, it's an energy that I don't care to be involved with, you already begin to weaken it. We'll talk a lot more about what to do with it. These kind of labels and judgments we put on it, it's not that you couldn't make a case for that, but it's always that people hold themselves back, and that's where you do start getting more into the realm of superstition and deciding that things are more powerful than you are. And they're not. So something to be aware of, most of the energies you encounter you'll really like. If you don't like them, just get curious about them. You know, they, if you're noticing them, there's some reason why they're showing up for you. And there's a real gift there.